Hi, my name is Jacob Hayes and this is my research and development project into slope stability on the Amokara Peninsula. The background for this project is that landslides pose a significant threat to communities across Tauranga and often result in significant property damage and endangering those who interact with them. The Amokara Peninsula itself is located 12 kilometres north of Tauranga City and is one such area which had multiple significant landslides which have occurred in recent years. Several of these landslides have been well documented and have caused extensive property damage and in some cases resulted in demolition. The aim is to conduct a study of the key parameters impacting stability of slopes on the Amokara Peninsula, and is to gain an insight into the key conditions impacting the stability of slopes and assess the overall safety of each of the chosen slopes when exposed to these conditions. The methodology for this investigation began with site selection so slopes were selected based upon three characteristics, the first of which was previous failures. If previous failures had occurred at the site, then there was a higher chance that it would reoccur due to slope stability already being a known issue. The dimensions of the slope. If the slope had an increased gradient, this was seen as an increased chance that failure would occur. And then external factors. This can be seen as decreasing the groundwater table through the use of drainage or through the addition of a significant load at the top of the slope. The soil profile and parameters were then established. The external boundaries were determined through the use of LIDAR, which allowed for the extraction of contours using QGIS software. The layering was determined through the use of boreholes, which had been previously completed at each of the locations. And then the parameters were correlated from cone penetration testing. Both the boreholes and cone penetration testing were sourced from either previous investigations or through the New Zealand Geotechnical Database. The locations were chosen based upon the aforementioned criteria. So there were five locations which were chosen in total. One to four were previous landslides which had occurred along the northwestern edge of the peninsula. Location five was then used as a base scenario for the southeastern edge. These locations, however, were limited by previous testing due to a lack of recent development which had occurred towards the tip of the peninsula. These have been developed cross sections for each of the chosen locations. Locations of note can be seen as location one, which is the Bramley Drive failure, and location two, which is the McDonald Road failure. Both of these were significant, well documented cases of slope instability on the Mokoro Peninsula. Analysis was completed under five different conditions, the first of which was a static water table, which was the water table at the level at which it was recorded. The raised water table, which was seen as the water table at its worst possible level. Surcharge was the addition of a significant load to the top of the slope. Surcharge plus raised water table, which is the combination of the previous two. And then a seismic analysis for a 1 in 500 year event. All computer modelling was completed using slide 2. An analysis was completed on each slope using drain parameters as long-term analysis and undrained parameters for short-term analysis. The key findings for this investigation were as follows. For the static water table, the slopes which had recently failed were under the required factors of safety, whilst the slopes that had not experienced failure previously were generally considered safe. The raised water table caused a significant decrease in the factor of safety in long-term analysis. This impact, however, was reduced during short-term analysis. The surcharge, this is seen as the combination of surcharged and raised water table, as additionally as just the surcharged, had the least impact on the factor of safety for each slope. This indicated that the cause of failure likely stems from other factors, such as the composition, topography, and the water table level. The seismic analysis overall had a significant impact on the stability of the slopes. This shows that a significant seismic event could severely disrupt the stability of slopes on the Amokara Peninsula. The Pahoya Tefras and Upper Matawa subgroup were found to be the determining factors for safety in many of the slopes on the Amokara Peninsula. The undrained or short-term analysis was significantly more stable than the long-term analysis, with no slopes experiencing conditions in which they would be expected to fail. Topography features such as the slope gradient were found to play an extremely significant part in the overall stability of each of the slopes. Some layers, in particular the younger ash sequence which was found at the top of each of the slopes and the lower Matawa subgroup at the base were found to have little to no impact on the stability of each of the slopes. Overall, the stability of the slopes on the Amokara Peninsula was found to vary significantly. 
So it's essential to have an individual analysis completed on each slope to ensure the overall safety. This has been my presentation. Thank you.